Hello, today's August the 9th, 2014. I just want to talk today about um, maybe like negative self talk. Uh, we all do it. Um, I was just talking to a friend yesterday and she was talking about how, you know, she beats herself up basically in her thoughts when things don't go right. And um, we, it's, it's not just her, we all do it. And all of us, uh, we do it constantly. We'll be good to everybody else, but then in, in our own thoughts, we'll pretty much beat ourselves up. And um, I want to talk about how we can catch those thoughts and um, those just probably been with you your whole life, you know, and you pro you probably do it unconsciously, okay? And I want to talk about how we can take those thoughts and control them, okay? Control them. Because there's, in a mindfulness meditation, there's this uh, where you just be with your emotions, you let them be there, like if, um, and, and, and in psychology, they got, a, they got a new teaching out now, like if you're going to have a panic attack, you sit there and you and you feel the emotion okay you don't try to run from it you don't try to run and take something for it you just sit and you feel the emotion and then eventually it'll get better um but that's for another teaching that's for another segment but anyway not talking about panic attacks not talking about that type of anxiety but an anxiety that's created through your own self-talk your own tense of thinking your own thoughts that's in your head and is basically like if you have the inner bully, okay, and I talked about this in the first teaching about the inner bully, I'll be speaking about the inner bully a lot in these teachings, and this is how to heal part three, okay, how to heal from pain part three, that's the name of this video, but the inner bully often, <clears throat> when we don't do something right, we'll often hear something like, well, you know you should have done this, and you should have done that, and then you'll have also the inner critic in there, and and, and this is your thoughts. This is your own thoughts. You've been doing it ever since you was a child. You you started doing it more about the time you got in high school, about the time people started noticing you and stuff. And you you started thinking, you know, you didn't look as good as maybe the other girl that was there at school, or or you didn't have as the nice hair, you know, like the other guys at school, or you didn't have the big muscles like the other guys at school. Whatever it might be, you started getting this self-esteem uh, problem, esteem. Okay, so, and we think we think it just came on, we think it's just natural, and it's just part of us, and, and you know, we got it handed down to us genetically from our parents and all that. Well, maybe so, you know, maybe you did have things handed to you genetically from your parents, but at the same time, you can create and change this negative self-talk, you know, like, like again, the inner bully, to say, well, you know, you should have done this, and you should have done that, and... You, it's just basically the inner bully. It's just that part of you that's giving yourself a hard time all the time. You got the inner critic. It's criticizing you. It's just talking about how you could have done this better and how you could have done that better and why didn't you do this fast enough and why didn't you do, you know, why wasn't the table set, you know, nice enough and all the people came over to to your house and why don't your house look as good as the neighbors? Well, that's the inner critic, okay? And then you got the inner child. And the inner child's always wanting. Uh, the inner child's like, well, why is everybody hard on me? Why is everybody, why don't anybody ever understand my point of view? Why doesn't everybody or anybody or maybe my husband or my wife or my children, why don't they understand me, you know? And basically that's where you'll hear the whys, the whys, the whys will come from the inner child. And the, uh, the shoulds will come from the inner bully. And, you know, you, why didn't you do it this way, or why didn't you do it that way? The whys also come from the, the inner critic. So, uh, and it can come in a lot of different variations. And, and just because I haven't brought up specifically something that's going on in your mind, uh, doesn't mean that, that uh, the inner critic, the inner bully, or the inner child aren't one of those that's creating this negative self talk. And maybe you're just instigating it by just every day staying in a negative mood and not never trying to get out and get yourself in some type of positive mood you know go out in the nature 
go out and exercise some, and get yourself in some type of positive mood. Um, but that again, the positive mood and the mood boosters and the stress busters and all that, that's going to be for future um, teachings. But in this one, I want you to, to think about the negative self-talk again, okay? This is how to heal from pain. And how is it that the negative self-talk can create pain in our minds and bodies, and, or like it creates anxiety and it creates pain and anxiety in our bodies? Well, how is that? How does it? How does it do that? Well, it, again, it's from tension, and you go around all day long putting yourself down in your mind, and like I said, usually unconsciously, all day long putting yourself down in your mind, all day long uh letting the inner critic just make you feel terrible all day long letting that inner bully make you feel terrible all day long letting the inner child you know make you feel terrible well what's going to happen is eventually it's going to build it's going to build a lot of tension in your mind which is going to go down through your body and eventually over the years the body the, the mind, the brain starts to think that maybe if I could put pain somewhere, maybe somewhere where they had pain before, uh, so I, you know, it's like a trick. If I can get, if I can get them to focus on this pain in their knee or this pain in their shoulder, or this fibromyalgia or whatever type of pain it is, then they'll start focusing so much on all of the negative emotional distress from the inner bully, the inner critic, and the inner child. Some people call it the monkey mind again. Some people call it uh, the reptilian, the reptilian mind that hasn't evolved to now. And but we have, you know, a brain that's evolved to now. Either way you want to look at it, the bottom line is you have to learn to deal with the negative self-talk. Okay, and one of the things you can learn to 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 do with the negative self-talk is you can just tell it to shut up. You know. Like you'll like you'll hear that part in your head saying, um, "Why didn't you do it that way?" or "Or why why are they treating me that way?" Become aware, become aware that it's happening. First of all, it's usually going on unconsciously, so you need to become aware that this is happening to you. So you can, uh, in Doctor Sarno's book, uh, Healing Back Pain, and in the Mind Body Prescription, he talks about telling it to shut up. Tell us, tell us this voice in your head to shut up. Okay. Um, in the Bible, Jesus will talk about how to tell this voice to be at peace. Peace be with you. Be at peace. So, you know, that's some of the things that, that, that I first learned on how to control uh, the voice, the, these voices, you know, that tend to have a mind of their own sometimes and you can't control them. But there's other ways other than just telling it to shut up or sending it love. You know, when I say peace like that, and I imagine peace in my body, and and I imagine it going to that voice that's saying, "Well, you should have done this, or you should have done that." And I imagine it soothing that part, okay, that part of, of my mind that's just that's just jabbering away, okay. Now, you can send it love, you can tell it to shut up, or you can do uh, several other techniques. Uh, one of the things you can do is notice where the voice is coming from, okay? Like the voice is saying, you should have done this and you should have done that. And why didn't you do it this way? Or why didn't you do it that way? And I wanted to do this, but they, do, but they don't understand me. And say, so well, where's that voice coming from? Think about where it's coming from. And say, well, it might be coming from like this side, this side, okay? And you can hear it on this side of your head. And it's coming from that side of your head, okay? But when you hear the voice in your head, see if you can turn the voice away from you. You ever you ever hear somebody talking to you, and as they're talking to you, they turn their back to you, and how their voice starts going in the other direction, and you can't hardly hear them anymore. Well, you can you can do that same thing with this with the inner child, the inner critic, and the inner bully voice. You can turn. You can actually take physically in your imagination and turn that voice away from you so that the voice is going in the other direction okay um, again the, usually that voice is pointed right at you okay usually the voice is pointed right at you and what you'll do is you'll just take and you'll turn the voice away from you so the voice will be speaking in the other direction so in other words if it's speaking in the other direction you won't be able to hear it as well 
this is a neuro just a programming technique it works very well as you can hear the voice talking to you like it might be coming at you from this way coming right at you the voice you just take in your mind and you turn it around and you turn it away from you and actually push it away from you the, the voice and you ever you ever hear somebody uh speaking and they're talking and then like a radio's playing or something and then it rides by and it's loud but then as it goes on down the road it gets lighter and lighter and lighter well you can do the same thing with this voice you can push it away from you and it might be speaking but as you push it away from you further and further then it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter until you can't hear it no more i mean you can push it away from you 10 20 30 feet until you cannot hear this voice no more whether it's the inner child the inner critic or the um the inner bully now when you when you turn it away from you 180 degrees okay and listen to it again listen to it again from from 30 feet away from you listen to it you it'll be one way of getting rid of this voice now all of these ain't gonna work so you have to have several ways to be able to get rid of you know these nagging these this nagging chatter that's going on inside the your mind as 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 you know so like i said some people call it monkey mind or whatever you want to call it it's happening to all of us everybody's going through it and uh, another way is to is, is of course count yourself down in a meditative state become mindful become aware of what's happening and then just just kind of start paying attention to your breathing and that'll calm down the, the the inner chatter okay but if if you haven't been doing your meditations and stuff like that and you're not in tune with your meditations then there's there's still other uh, things you can do that'll take care of this negative self talk okay you can you can imagine when you when you hear this voice or the inner child, the inner bully, or the inner critic's voice, you can imagine that, like the, the inner bully saying, well, you should have done this and you should have done that. You can imagine here, well, you, you don't have to imagine hearing it because you're already hearing it, but then you can imagine that there's a big knob in front of you. In your visual, in your imagination, you can imagine there's a big knob in front of you turned on 10. Because it, it'll usually be turned on 10 because the voice is pretty loud when it's saying you should have done this and you should have done that. You, you, people just don't know that they can make this negative self talk stop. Anyway, you can imagine there's a big old knob like a, like a, on the old time radios and you can take the knob and say it's turned over on 10. You can turn it and as you start turning it, 10, 9, 8, 7, hear the voice go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like that. Hear the voice go down as you're turning this imaginary knob down. And then, that's what works well for me. Okay? And then it, this voice will go all the way down. That's just one of the ways to stop this negative self-talk. Okay? Now, another way is like like you hear this voice saying, Why didn't you do it that way? And why didn't you do this? And you should have done that. You should have done this. And why, did, why are they thinking about me like that? You can you can change this voice to sound in a high pitch. You see the voice will usually the voice will sound exactly like your voice, or it might sound like your mother's voice, or your father's voice, or an ex-husband's voice, or somebody that that's you know that you've had some tra traumatic events with. Uh, it didn't have to be traumatic. All it had to be was some yelling going on, and it'd just stick in your imagination. Everybody knows that every memory you've ever had is is in your mind for the rest of your life. Your your body's the perfect, and mind is the perfect photographic, you know, recorder that records everything in your life. There's been thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of cases. People goes under hypnosis and they remember everything, even from the time they were asleep. They'll remember everything. So. Anyway, these voices will usually come, and they'll, they'll, they might sound like your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, uh, or somebody that used to be a friend, or anything. But all you have to do is, when you, when you hear this voice, you should have done this, and why didn't you do that? And why, why are they over there staring at you? Why are they looking at you like that? And why does that person think they're better than you? 
when you start to hear this, these voices, which again is the inner bully, the inner critic, and the inner child, what you can do then is you can make the voice, imagine the voice going real high, okay? Just imagine if it might be talking in your voice, and imagine it going a real high pitch. And when it goes to a real high pitch, imagine it talking to you like, um, like a like a, a a princess or something, okay, like that. And and then when you hear it, it won't be so bad. For men, you can imagine this voice sounding like a like a motherly love voice, you know, like. What, just pay attention to what I'm saying here, okay? You should have done this. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Okay? Now think of it like this. You should have done this. But why didn't you do it like this? Well, you could have done it that way. You know? But you, what if you made that real high pitch? You know? I'm not going to, I'm not going to speak in a real high pitch. But what if you made it a real high pitch? It would make this voice not seem so not seem so bullish or critical on you anymore okay that's just another way you can do it some people say make the voice sound like you know scooby-doo or, or or somebody like that put circus music behind it you can do all that if you wish but a lot of people take that as a joke and it's really not you can you can make this voice sound like one of your favorite cartoon characters if you wanted to it's your imagination you can do what you want uh, the whole thing is, you've been your whole life. You've been letting these voices, which is like I said, the inner critic, the inner bully, uh, the inner child. You've been letting them speak to you the way they want to. Okay, and it's basically just recorded information that's just giving you tension all day long. But you can change these to a real high pitch, and then push it away from you from at a very far distance, and then turn the knob down if you wish. And you can get rid of it that way. Okay? Okay, again, think of the, lo the location of where this voice could be coming from. Okay, usually it's like right in front of you and it's speaking right directly to you. But you can move, what if you move the voice, like I said earlier, out 30 feet away from me, you know, 60 feet away from me? What would the voice sound like then? You probably wouldn't even be able to hear it. Try that. And watch it. It, it can, it'll work for you. Move it in different locations and see what it sounds like. Move it around behind you. Have you ever heard somebody say, I'm going to put this behind me? Uh, they don't know it, but they. if you can really think about what I'm saying here, if you can take that voice and put it in behind you like 30, 40, 50 feet behind you, you won't even be hearing the voice anymore. You can get rid of them like that. This is just getting rid of again of negative self-talk we need to stop the negative mental chatter in order so we can control our our thoughts better okay because there's images up there too and that's for another video because I'm on 18 minutes now that's for another video but these are just some of the ways that you can change negative self-talk I want to say a couple of the last ones um, I mentioned about putting the problems behind you the voices the problems you know, if you got a negative image, take it, slide it around behind you. You got an image you can't get out of your head, take it, see it, slide it around behind you, and leave it back there. You can do that. That's for a negative image or a negative voice. And if, again, if the if the voice is inside your head and it's not coming from, it's not speaking to, like from from the front there, take the voice and move it outside your head. Okay, you can take it. You can take it and you can feel the voice as it goes into your hand and just move it outside your head like that. And then you can uh, move it out 30 feet away from you. You can move it behind you. You can take and turn it down. You can put it on a high pitch like a, like a cartoon sound with circus music behind it. You can do all of this within a matter of seconds to get rid of the negative mental chatter. I hope this helps. I know it will. It's helped me tremendously. God bless you and have a good day.